Hey everybody, welcome to the nightly video. We're going to be talking about the new month. Uh, we can talk about what we got after today. It was mostly just gappers, kickers, and indexes, but uh, we can quickly take a look there first and then we'll go over the rest. So today we obviously had the Fed, so in the morning there was some stuff going on, just not really that much. Uh, one of the bigger trades was AMD off the 2260 on the gap up, and there was also in the morning attempts at long, they just did not hold. You see the inside fibers up, and then rev strap five minute reclaimed the equilibrium, took out low a day. So just did not hold on that gap up, and there was a lot of kicking patterns in the chips. Uh, this one was not kicking pattern, but it did gap up. They just didn't stay in the semis. You'll see kicking pattern resolves higher. So the question is tomorrow in the semis, since we're against the monthly continuity, uh, does the month open and then continue confirming with new continuity full time from continuity up, or do they negate going to today and changing things? Uh, on the week though, they're setting up two down in green, so we'll see. If we go into the spy, it is an inside week going into Wednesday, so we're gonna have less volatility unless that changes. If you go to Dow Jones, it is a two 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 on the week, and they went shooter on the day, so they're gonna be closer to trying to negate. Um, as far as where the next two is, but we'll have to see. If we go to IWM, this is also going to be a slight shooter, RevStrat potentially, 2122 RevStrat, which could maybe cause a RevStrat outside bar week. Uh, and this is coming after hitting the magnitude on the yearly, 2-2 uh, two, two year, taking this out. So you'll see how that kind of lines up across the board here. So they could take out all these guys. If they're going to bring IWM in, and that'd be a decent trade for Thursday slash Friday. So going into the new month, we can take a look at, first of all, if we just take a look at monthly signals, we're not going to have any IWM. We're not going to have any SPY unless it's a 2-2. We're not going to have any Qs unless it's a 2-2 to the downside. And then Dow Jones, we're not going to have any unless it rev strats back down, which it's just nowhere near doing. So we're not going to have any signals there. If we go to indexes, The only one setting up signal is XLE. And you can see it is a momentum hammer on the month. So there's really just not much going on there. Uh, we can take a look and see, is there any inside months? XOP, so XOP and XLE, you got the inside month XOP. Uh, you also have OIH and the energy is already going up. If we look for a shooter or two down in green, two up in red, we have no shooters on the month, no two up in red, no two down in green. So just lacking a lot of monthly signals, which means the week and daily signals become a little more important there as far as the sectors are concerned. Uh, just going through the sectors here, and give me a sec to make sure we get them all up. Going through the sectors, we've already done the indexes, you know, communications. So communications, doji outside bar on the month, that's a broadening formation, so we'll make note of that. Uh, if we go to discretionary, inside week so far, so nothing. On the month, it is closer to going inside bar. Staples, outside bar on the month, which is a broadening formation. Uh, currently, could become inside week and down, but doji so far. Already looked at the energies, financials. It's going to be exhausting a monthly signal, which we did talk about earlier in the month from your inside day here. You can see they make the slight higher high to this stuff and pull it back in a little bit. So some exhaustion risk coming into the flip, which means this could go 2-2 day with full time from continuity if they were to start bringing anything back in. But on the month, you're nowhere near reversing that. KRE, which is regional banks. It's one of the higher performers. Same thing, a little bit of a shooter day, two up in red week, but no near reverse in that month. Health cares, three on the month, so you got a broadening information there. We'll make note of that. If we go to biotechs, two up on the month, does have the quarter in force. Health cares also have the quarter in force. Both of these are confirming yearlies. And when we go to XLV, that one is going to be what still hammer quarter with that year in force so you got one two signals still at this point industrials on the month 
our rev strat up, but now closing out. So going to be broadening formation here. How are we getting out of that? Real estates. Also went to rev strat quarter up, which is still in force at this point. Could become 2-2 two, two years, still has not done that. You'll see this week is inside week up. So one of the stronger sectors with the regionals. Technologies have the hammer week, which has not closed yet to go to the month. Did have, looks like just shy of outside month. It might be wrong there. Yeah, so just shy of outside month. And it's going to be red against the year, which is green. So you could technically call that corrective if they're going to keep going back up. If we go to semis, SMH, you're going to have the same deal, except it was a three on the month. So here's your broadening formation semis. This was your previous one, like this. Got bigger for the big try, and then your sub try looks like this. So this is three to that. All of these are three to this. And then on the day, you're going to see from the bottom of that monthly three, we had the kicking pattern at the end of the month. So we'll see what they bring of that. In the materials sector, you're going to see a two going three quarter with an outside bar on the month. That's a broadening formation. So we'll make note of that. If we go to the Utes, this is one we talked about at the very beginning of the month. What did we talk about? The 2 2 week. Here. And you'll see they go 2 1 2 2 magnitude. So when you go to the month, did exactly what it was supposed to do. And it gave you 5% just trading utilities, which is a boring sector. And this reconfirms the year. And it reconfirms the signals that we mentioned last quarter above 65.76, now trading 72.66. Go and check us out there. Um, if we go to gold and silver, gold is very green on the quarter so far with 2-2 week back up, 2-2-2. Which means, as you can see, since they're making higher lows, buyers pretty aggressive in here. Sellers not so much. This potentially starts trying to expand that. And we'll definitely want to keep an eye out for that since gold has the year 1312 up in force. If we go to silver, silver has a very nice weekly broadening formation. And you'll see they gap and reclaim all these lows today. So silver, your broadening formation looks like this. If the month goes green, you have full time from continuity, two going three week back through previous range. That's also going to be reconfirming a yearly enforced signal. And then the last one is the defense sector, DFEN. This is the defense ETF. And you'll see it is 3122 rev strap to the upside. And its current equilibrium was a lot smaller like this. And now it is expanding above that. So they're trying to make this range bigger. No one here taking this out or this out, but they're racing back through the three. So that's a broad information. It does tell you things like Lockheed Martin are pretty green. Uh, you can see they really got after it after those earnings. And this is coming straight off the gap list. And you see they're just going, going, gone. But uh, it's also going to be things like GD, which we mentioned on the yearly macro video as investments, which is up 16%. On the week, that one's a 3-2 week up, still not at all-time highs. So maybe with the 2-2 month in GD next month, we can go after that. You'll also have a potential 3-2 in NOC on the quarter, which could be caused by new month candles opening next month. Uh, might triangle out first. And I'm drawing a blank. Uh, LMT, NOC, and GD, GNRC. GNRC is another one, except it's exhausting its yearly or its monthly signal. It does have a 2-2 year, but not as green as the rest. You can see only up 22%, which uh, in relation to its price, not very much. So you can see it's just not that as green. But it is up a good chunk of that, and you're going to have that in that same sector. They had the gapper today. You can see they had a very nice gap and sell in the morning here. But we'll have to see what comes of that sector. It's just very green to start the quarter. Um, outside of that, we did not look at the home builders which you're going to see our quarterly rev strat to the upside. They broke inside quarter down and got rejected when everything else went 2-2 on the week. And you'll see they haven't reversed that. They went 2-2 gap up, back through previous range, and then they're still going, gone. 20% um, of the home builders. So very green there with the three getting bigger in that sector. And that covers all of the sector analysis. So we can then go and take a look just at the monthly signals setting up. So we want to know hammers, especially rev strats, one, two, two. 
Uh, we'll have AAP, BDX, CAH, two healthcare names, a consumer cyclical. BDX, this is why we scan for this specific condition. You can see you get a nice broadening information up in here. It's obviously been making some higher lows, so we'll see. But it does have the rev strap month back to the previous range. I apologize if you have background noise. We got a lot of people over. Uh, CAH, you're going to see the rev strap month, which would take you back through this previous range, also in those health cares, like this. Uh, and then dash and AAP. So DoorDash, RevStrat on the month, above that, uh, AAP, also potentially a RevStrat month above that. So we got some RevStrats in there, should be easy to track. We can also go for two down in green for soft RevStrats, or ones with no hammer. And you're going to see Etsy, K, Myrna, so another healthcare. Myrna on the month, so you can see slight two down in green, which makes it a soft RevStrat. This week got countered, we'll see. Uh, so not so much there. You get an Etsy. Etsy would be Pivot Machine Gun after not all-time lows, but smacking into those lows. Back in here. Reclaiming this three, it'd be a PMG above that, 66.85. Hey. Soft rev strat on the month, potentially. It is weaken up this week. That's going to be consumer defensive, which is the staples, and PCG, PWR, which is utilities. So PCG is a potential one, two, two in the utility sector. Same with PWR, potential one, two, two on the month. So you can look for those as the upside longs. We can go then to the downside. The one, two, twos. We're going to have EXPE, Intel Tech, LDOS Tech. One healthcare name. So two cyclicals, two tech, financial, and healthcare. Expedia. Stopped out the tight stop, guys, here. Under 121.81 has a magnitude to 107.25. We'd also reclaim this whole previous range back in here. So we can identify our broadening formation. It's a slight lower low, slight higher high that got bigger like this. So I'd be coming ripping back through these guys. Expedia, below 121.81. We go Intel. Intel, a little bit of a problem there, right? So they tried to bring it back, denied. And they're going to be closer to taking out anyone that's been trying to buy in the last one, two, three months for the rev strat, the shooter, and then potentially trying to take these guys out, 24.59. LDOS. You can see this is coming from all-time highs. Notice this big equilibrium. So this is what we say when we say mother bar problems, boom. All this action stuck inside of these two bars. And then you'll see the lower lows, the higher highs. Slight higher low, lower high, stuck, stuck, stuck. Slight lower low, boom, off to the races. So this is what your range looks like. And we can identify this mother bar here. It would be the one, two, two rev strap month. It would reclaim into this three should that work. That is technology. And Mara. So the Bitcoiners, Mara is going to be a potential rev strat. It's got one, two, three, four pivots to go after. One, two, three, four. So below 1878, Mara would be short to 1418. DVA in the health cares. Not quite. If you got a PDD in the consumer cyclical. Also not quite. So sugar's down with an inside month down. Not we're looking not what we're looking for. We then go to two up in red, and you're going to see Intel, DOS, Mara. Only extra one is MRO and PTC. MRO, a little bit of a chop shop in there. PTC, not what we're looking for. Not sure what's going on there. So not so much on the downside. A few things, right? A few things. Not so much, though. If we go for the three twos, we can look for hammers. CF and YUM, potential three two hammers. So you can see this is why we scan for this, because it identifies the condition where the market made a three, poke down, and then back in. So the range on this becomes bigger. Potentially trying to go to 86, above 77.50. Yum. You can see yum would be a potential 322. Back into this stuff with the sub-try in here. Above 134, 42, 
23. We go for two down in green. End phase, Siskiyou, so the Solars. We can pick that out for sure. ENPH, so you can see stuck, 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 poke up, slight poke down, and then back in. 3-1 week, setting up for next month, so hopefully it stays that way. And that could cause outside quarter, it would still be very inside year, but it could maybe get it moving, we'll see. Uh, Siskiyou is also on there. You can see, so Solar, these guys have been along or around for a while. Uh, obviously, you can see the broadening information here, it should be glaring. Uh, this will be closer to a 2-2 reversal. I'm not going to get my hopes, hopes up super high, but notice right at the bottom of this range. So we can draw it out to include all this stuff right at the bottom of this range. So we'd like to see it above that. And maybe we can really get going back through that, especially if we see end phase and maybe other solars like run, which is an outside month or, uh, I don't know if it's going, let me just search them like this, but we'll see. Go to TAN, which was a solar ETF. It is two down in green on the month. So potentially solars, we'll see. Not a lot of evidence as far as I can tell there. And then JBL and PayPal are the only other two to add to that. So JBL, slight two down in green. We like the bright green ones. Go to PayPal. So now had some earnings recently. Would be closer to a 2-2 on the month back through those guys. If we go for the bearish side of things, shooter, got nothing for the bearish side there. Two up in red. Only thing is D-Dog. And we would trade this one a lot last month, that big outside month, and then poke up right back all the way through. So you see how that works. You get the inside week here, long. Two-two week here, flip short back through the range. And they're still coming in. You also had crowd <laughs> not having a very good time in here, as you can see in that side of things and we'd redraw that try like so because the month has closed to three so potential three two down next month in crowd if they're going to keep coming through this try in here and go three three on the year look something like that for now um since we don't see much there last thing we can just look for is a two down in green two up in red and just see what do the sectors got for us so two down in green, we can see cyclicals right off the bat. A lot of consumer defensive. More cyclicals, good chunk of technologies. So we will look for the two down in green months, potential cyclicals, consumer defensive, and technologies. If we go to two up in red, we can see a lot of technologies in here, a lot of technologies, a lot of technologies. So on the month, a lot of thing in tech, a lot of things in tech, much closer to reversing the month back down. Doesn't mean they have to. You can see a good chunk of these. They did come in and buy towards the end of the month. But if you just go and pick out any of these, such as net, you can see that is much closer to a 2-2 reversal back down. And every single one of these is going to look something like that. So going into the new month, we'll like to know if anything's a 2-2 month back down, and if there is no month leads to the downside, we will scan and we will see who has rev strats and force to the upside, who has 3-2-2s to the upside, and any other of the good things you're looking for, like 3-1s or inside bars, which is the last thing we're going to talk about. So inside on the month, it's the simplest scan because you just scan it once, and you will have the duplicates if you don't filter. So inside on the month, you can see we just lack inside bars. We got some. Right, so we get Pan W, N U E, D K N G, Chewy, uh, some of the fun stuff that we normally trade, Hershey's Monster, and the Staples, and then we already covered XOP. So we can take a look at a few of these that we know. D K N G, double inside month, so they're setting up to go somewhere. Still looking like they're inside week, so also still inside quarter. Is a two up year, but could potentially change that. We'll see. Um. If we go to Chewy and Hershey's, Chewy inside month looks like it's going to start coming back in. They might want to try and retest those lows back down there. So closer to going inside month back down. Currently still an inside week, inside quarter, 3-1. Monster and Hershey's. So Hershey's, after some stopping them out. 
did make higher lows in here, so you don't really like when we don't stop them out, but you'll have the closer to inside month up. If you get a monster. Monster, you can see again, didn't quite stop them out here, so not quite what we prefer, but inside month closer to breaking up. Pan W N U E zoom. Pan W inside month. Might set up hammer weeks this week if they're going to start ripping inside month and up. N U E. You can see they make the all time highs and then completely reclaim those. And they set up, this would be like on a yearly time frame, maybe a higher time frame than that. But they set up some PMG action to the downside in here. I'm curious. But you have this big three on the month. So this could go inside up and reclaim that three, or it could go inside down and start trying to take these guys out. On the year, you prefer the downside on that month, given the yearly rev strat is occurring. Um, if we go to the week here, it's a slight poke up and coming back in a little. Maybe it turns into a rev strat on the start of the new month and then PMG, but we'll see. And then, really, there's like Zoom. Normally when you have to squint to look at these charts, it's not a good thing. So just an FYI. Uh, you'll see zoom in here. Really small broadening formation at the lows. Could turn into PMG to the upside on the month here. And that'd be initially we'd want 67.04 after 62.22. So there's a chance. On the week though, it's looking a little bit bearish. So you can see closer to reverse in come the new month. So we'll, we're not going to hold our breath for it. Um, so really that's about it as far as the macro goes. I know we're just we're just ripping through the signals, but um, going into each new quarter, each new month, we really we can just hit the scans and say, well, who's moving? And uh, whoever's moving before, are they still moving? So if we go to the month, the last thing we're going to look at here is who's a three on the month. And it actually is not going to let me do that. So we can't look at that here. What we can do is do it on Thinkorswim. And for those of you that are interested here, You'll see, hit the scan, you can just look for a three. We got 84 outside months last month. The biggest ones are AMD, you'll have Snap, Meta, Goog, more Goog, Marvel, which we knew about, Crowd, which with that three, two week off the highs. Uh, and then AMAT, so you got a lot of chips in there, which we already knew about. We traded that stuff. Um, if we continue to go lower, looks like we have a ton of consumer discretionary as well. So a lot of the chips, a lot of consumer discretionary, a lot of communication services went outside last month. So if you go to the big ones, See, Goo goes an outside month, so does that become 3-2 down, or does it not do that and start recovering? It's currently a 1 on the week. Um, if we go to... And sorry about this. If we go to Snapchat, same kind of deal there. If we go to Meta, same kind of deal there with the outside bar, inside week. So a lot of text moving very similar. You go to Marvel. You can see just the big old three on the week and then or on the month and then hammering on the week. So what we'll want to do is once we get the weekend, since we have so many outside months here, once we get towards the weekend, we can scan and say, well, things like Marvel. So are you an outside month? Yes or no. And then do you have weekly signals back through it with the new month continuity? Uh, if we're going to try and play those tries. Because a lot of these things you can see if we go on the month, they're kind of ended up as dojis. So they didn't resolve up or down. It's just a matter of do they break the highs of these threes or the lows? Um, things that are really red and have that big outside bar like crowd, uh, that's resolved, right? That's resolved lower. So we'd look for twos down on stuff that looks like that. And anything that doesn't look like that, we can kind of see what those weekly daily signals bring us. But that's going to be about it. As far as what we know to be true here, you got the tech. If things start breaking down, the tech is where we're going to go after, but they're just nowhere near doing it. We got a lot of things recovering uh, this week currently and just not any super bright green continuity as we're ending off this last day of the month here. And last thing is we can talk about the Fed here. They gapped it up. They had the kicking patterns. 
and they were nowhere near taking these highs out on SPY, nowhere near taking the lows. So it's just going to be tough because how are you getting out of that? So once you're stuck in here, notice nowhere near that or that. And we can also mark out this low and say nowhere near that. We can also say nowhere near this. It's just you're nowhere near stopping anyone out. You're going to start the new try. Poke up, poke down, poke up, poke down, and then slight higher low is stuck. So we go into the five minute. We posted it all over Twitter this morning. And you're going to see this. So it's five or try. They poke down. Three, two. One, two, two. Pokes up. Inside up. Two, two, two. Up. Top of the try. And then they resolve lower. They had a lot of threes in here, so it's a little difficult during the day. But you can see this range just wasn't that much. So what we like to say is we want to know tomorrow. Not We don't have to know exactly what the month's doing. We, we want to know about it. But we want to know who's taking out today's lows. Because anyone doing that is going lower after the Fed. So they say Fed, bad news, going down. Anything taking out today's highs tomorrow, it's going to be where the strength is at because it's following through on the Fed move. So that's what we're going to be scanning for, just who's up, two up, who's two down. Try and find who's taking out last month's highs and lows with any type of signals or as long as you got continuity. Um, but that's what I'm going to be scanning for. So I hope you guys enjoy the little monthly video here. But uh, I'll be up bright and early with you guys tomorrow morning if you're in stats. If you are not, I'll see you guys in tomorrow night's nightly vid. Or if there is not one, I'll see you guys in the weekend video where we'll talk more about the monthly signals that are starting to get moving. So I hope you guys enjoy and have a great rest of your night.